Hello and welcome to the Overflow Podcast. My name is Craig Booker. The title of this episode is The Anatomy of Worry, The After Show. The material in this episode is inspired by Winning the War on Worry by Louis Giglio. Note, I will talk a lot about mental health, but please note this is not a substitute for therapy or mental health care. I am not a counselor or physician. If you need help with mental health challenges, please find a qualified mental health professional. The title of this episode is The Anatomy of Worry, The After Show. So uh, in my own journey, my own experience with struggling with brain health, you know, like I talked about earlier, is if we, if we experience several traumatic events close together, it it gets to the point we're overwhelmed our system our body is overwhelmed our brain is not coping well and you know there's a point where at least for me in my experience i needed to just get back to a place of like i need to recover to a point where i felt some sense of safety and at the time you know, the first thing happens in my life, and, you know, that was probably the major, like, start of all this, which was being laid off from a job, not knowing anything about work life, because it was my first real job that I think of, not knowing anything about being laid off and what it's like, because I've never seen anything like that uh, in people around me growing up not knowing what to do. It, it was a big event, but it sure didn't really like knock me over. So yeah, I, you know, the first event that happened in my life, yes, it was upsetting. Yes, it was traumatic. Uh, you know, I, I didn't get help for it because I didn't know I needed help for it, but I had other things happen along the way that as these, you know, if you think of getting hit by punches, because that's how I think of it, is like the first one kind of knocks you back and You're a little bit dazed and confused, but then you recover and you kind of come up with a plan to get back on track. But then maybe soon after that, you get hit with a second or third punch and your brain is spinning. And, you know, at some point you're just so overwhelmed that you can't just do basic life and you need some help getting back on track. Um. And at this point is when I can relate to being so feeling so out of control. I was just grasping for elements or just the illusion of control. Like you are trying anything. And that's when I think a lot of the, the, you know, the OCD symptoms probably really kicked up is before. Yes, I checked locks when I go to bed. Uh, it wasn't overly excessive. It didn't prevent me from getting on with life. After all this occurred, I was so traumatized by what I experienced. I It just escalated and got in the way. And this was my my body's response to what I had experienced. And so, you know, I think there's some element like when you're in when a person is in that place that telling them not to worry is not very compassionate. Telling them that, oh, it'll be okay. While it's true, they will probably be okay, is like, and when someone's trying to support them is not the most helpful thing. You know, a person in that place really needs to feel like they're seen and, and, and heard and, and a lot of, People trying to support them don't know what to say. And when they say stuff, it can kind of come across as diminishing that person's feelings and what they've gone through. And so I think in that situation, we have to love those people through it and see their hurt and see that use words to say, I see how this is really. That must be really tough. And allow them to speak their feelings rather than saying words that maybe seem dismissive. I think a lot of this is good, but you have to put it 
in the proper context. Um, you know, the first lie about about doubting God's character and motives. I think when we experience so many events like close together like that, we can start to say, OK, God, I know that you said that bad things can happen in this world. But why so many? And so that's when we need to kind of really refocus on what God's done in the past for us to kind of help us re course correct or readjust. That's all for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future episodes.